All right, so what the heck is that? What is it? Why do you have that on your back? Concavenator? That's a good question. We have no idea. Concavenator is a genus of Carcharodontosaurian. I hate, hate that. I hate, I hate their name. Dinosaur. That lived during the early Cretaceous period. With only a single species in the genus. Concavenator Carcovatus. They would have lived in what is now Spain. And were medium sized carnivores. And by medium I mean. Well they were pretty long. Between 16 to 20 feet. But they weren't very tall. Relatively human height. But they were carnivores so you know. Still not not, not really something you'd, you'd probably want to mess with. And they're a fairly recent discovery. The holotype specimen was cataloged in 2010. So this isn't something you're going to find classic paleo art of because they're, uh, well, they're a newer thing. I mean, they're not new. They're, they're very, very old, but I mean, like, newer, newer discovery. We, we know about them. But, um, well, the, the, the hump, the, the, the sail, whatever it is, what is that? Because... I mean, I can go into detail about a lot of their other features, uh, whether or not they had feathers. They may have had feathering. There's no direct evidence of that at this point. There's no impressions of feathers in the current remains we have. And the evidence of quill knobs is there? Technically? Which is a feature known only in birds, but that remains controversial among paleontologists. Some saying that they're not actually quill knobs, but in fact intermuscular lines acting as a tendon attachment. So it's still up in the air whether or not those are quill knobs or whether or not they had feathers or anything like that. But the bump! What, what is it? Why is it there? I mean, it's clearly their most distinguishing feature. And theirs is odd because it's like just jutting out. It's just like in the middle. It's not even a full sail, like on Spinosaurus or something. It's just, it's just kind of a little bump. And the function of said little bump is uh, wildly and ridiculously unknown. We, we, we have no idea why that's there. And the two prevailing theories regarding any such structure are a display purposes for like attracting a mate or something, or to be a thermal regulator or both. One of those two. Or, or, or both. But maybe it's something else. Maybe it did something we don't even know. Maybe it actually spat acid out of its bump. I don't know. Like, it probably didn't do that. Uh, that that's, that's just me uh, being facetious. I, I'm just trying to say we don't know what that structure really was for at this point. And we've been trying to figure out the actual purpose of said structures for a long time. We don't even know what Spinosaurus's was for. A lot of these extra bits, these unique traits of certain species of prehistoric animals tend to throw us off because, okay, it has sharp teeth. We can kind of, with reasonable certainty, figure out what those sharp teeth were for, you know? The same thing with flatter teeth or things like claws and long tails and all other sorts of stuff. These are things that are recognizable and routine and we can kind of piece together. All right, this is probably what they used them for. But stuff like this, it, it confuses and infuriates us because we just don't know what it does. We just don't know why they had it. What possible purpose could it have served? It, it must have been something because they were a successful species that existed for a long time. So obviously it did something for them. But in terms of the what, we have no clue. At least not at this point. But it does mean that Concavenator has become a lot more popular recently in terms of dinosaur enthusiasts just because of its distinctive appearance. It's one of those things that makes it stand out. You see a dinosaur with an odd bump on its back. It's like, hey, Concavenator, buddy, how you doing? You ever going to tell us what the heck that thing is for? Maybe he just wore it like a party hat. It's a ridiculous party hat. It serves no function other than to attract attention. But then that would be for display, so that's not even a good explanation. 
concave -inator. And with that, a special thank you. Go to my Apex Predators, Arthur Roy, Metal for Life Guy, and Anti Raven. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.